The new Israeli government set to end Benjamin Netanyahu's 12-year tenure as Prime Minister signed its final coalition agreement, pointedly including term limits. The coalition of parties from far right to left is expected to focus mostly on economic and social issues uh, rather than risk exposing internal rifts by trying to address major diplomatic issues such as the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Netanyahu, Israel's longest serving leader, will be succeeded on Sunday by a coalition that includes, for the first time, a party from Israel's Arab minority. Netanyahu faces an end to his long hold on power in Israel on Sunday. That's when the country's legislature votes on approving an improbable government of diverse parties that came together to unseat him. The two men hoping to oust the country's longest ruling leader are unlikely bedfellows. Coalition leader Yair Lapid and nationalist politician Neftali Bennett. As things stand, the coalition of right-wing, left-wing, centrist and Arab parties commands a majority of the 120-member Knesset. It would be sworn in the same day once it is approved, with Bennett becoming prime minister. The alliance, though, could be fragile, uniting unlikely allies from across the political spectrum. Members will include an Arab party for the first time in Israel's history, but it has little in common other than a desire to oust Netanyahu. Under a rotation deal, Bennett, a former defence minister and a high-tech millionaire, will serve until 2023 as prime minister. Then Lapid, once a popular TV host, will take over. It's likely the broad coalition will disagree over major issues, such as the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and Jewish settlement in the occupied West Bank. Avoiding the obvious pitfalls, its leaders have said they would focus largely on economic and social policy. Weakened by a corruption scandal, Netanyahu and his allies, as well as his rivals, have failed to win a governing majority in four elections over the past two years. After being in power since 2009, so-called King Bibi is not giving up his crown without a fight, accusing Bennett of election fraud by reneging on a promise not to partner with centrist, leftist and Arab legislators. And warning the new government would put Israel at peril. Bennett responded by calling on Netanyahu to let go. But until the new government is sworn in, Netanyahu will likely use these final days to persuade rivals to defect. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.